Well, hello folks. How you doing today? I hope you're doing well. If you've come to this video, uh, found it through a Google search, whatever, it's, chances are you're probably a little frustrated in your job search. Um, and I know that I, I definitely can feel your pain there. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. Um, I'll give you a little backstory on me. Um, for the better part of the last 20 years, I've been, uh, I've been an IT consultant, uh, which means I basically did my own thing. I worked under my own, my own uh, management, my own purview, my own business. Um, and recently, it was, it's, it's not been so good. And I, it's kind of forced me back into looking to work for somebody else now. And it's, it's okay because really I'm getting to the point now where I'm just, you know, I'm the kind of person that, you know, I really liked having just a few good clients instead of constantly running around doing what I called hit and run IT. So to be able to continue to support myself, I'm going to have to go to work somewhere and find a job. Real simple. So that's, that's something I've been um, endeavoring to do actually over the past few years here. Um, but I, I haven't had great results. In fact, I will tell you that in all of 2015, all of 2015, all 365 days, after, after a total of what has to be about 300 applications through various means, I only managed to get about six face-to-face -face interviews all year. Now, I had a lot of people calling me that wasted my time, but only about six face-to-face -face interviews, and none of that activity r resulted in me getting full-time employment. So I knew that I had to change something, and you know that's what they say. If if the thing you're doing uh, is isn't getting a result, then it's time to change what you're doing. You know the old adage about beating your head against a wall. You know, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result, all that. Yeah, that that applies. Well, here's here's what we're dealing with now, folks. You've probably looked at the career sites. And I'm not just talking about this kind of stuff, like this career builder or something like that. I'm talking about job advice sites and stuff written by HR people and all that. Oh, this is the job. And you see, you read a lot of these articles. They say, oh, you should do this, and you should network, and you should, you should get out there, and you should volunteer, and you should do all these wonderful things. You should intern. Yeah, oh, you should do all of these wonderful things that don't put a dime in your pocket. And let's face it, if you're looking on these sites, you need, a, you need work. You need money. You need work. You, you don't have time to volunteer, okay? Um, unless somebody else is paying for the roof over your head and the food you're eating, you don't have time for this crap, okay? Um, and that's just, that's, just, that's just the truth right there. And of course, they also you read these things and they tell you, well, you're doing something wrong. You're not, you know, you, you, uh, you, you shouldn't have jewelry. You shouldn't have a ring in your nose. Your teeth aren't white enough. Your, your, you know, your, your, your collar isn't pressed enough. You hear such bad career advice, and it spans the gamut from being just woefully outdated, like something you would use if it was 1976 instead of 2016, to stuff that is just sheer fantasy. Uh, they tell you to use sites like LinkedIn. Oh, get on LinkedIn. LinkedIn's great. You know, you, you build relationships, you network with people. Um, you, people get jobs through LinkedIn. I'll tell you right now, no, they don't. Look, LinkedIn, especially now being opened by, uh, being operated by Microsoft, is just another advertising avenue. LinkedIn is primarily populated by people who are fooled into thinking they're going to get work because they put up a LinkedIn profile and the and a bunch of HR people who just like to hear themselves talk. Okay, LinkedIn is garbage. I will say it. It is garbage. I was on LinkedIn for five years. I was on LinkedIn almost from the day it started up, and it never got me a position. And I will guarantee the people who get positions because of LinkedIn through the quote unquote networking, that networking already existed and chances are I would put money that they would have had that job without it. Period. It's a sham. And now it's just an advertising medium. It's just another Microsoft bought it so they could harvest more data. And that's not tinfoil hat stuff. That's the reason. Because LinkedIn is a wealth of information. And remember, Link and Microsoft's trying to f trying to go up against PeopleSoft and SAP and all that. They want to get into the really big data business in a big way. And LinkedIn has all kinds of big data. Okay? 
So that's what LinkedIn's for. It's not for you. It's for people who are basically trying to sell you something. The only thing LinkedIn ever gave me was a bunch of crap in my email inbox. That's it. So LinkedIn is garbage. If you want to create a profile, you want to put something up there, feel free. More power to you. But don't expect it to be your career path to success. Okay? It's just, it's not. Okay? On that same vein, don't expect job sites like Career Builder or Monster or Dice to be the end all be all in job searches. The one thing I will tell you that is correct that a lot of these career s sites say is to never just rely on the monsters and the careerbuilder.coms to try to find work. Because here's the problem with these sites. These sites are in it to make money. They're not in it to find you a job. It's the same thinking as any agency recruiter you talk to. These people are not working for your best interest. They're working for the best interest of themselves, i.e. their clients who pay them directly. Nobody is going to do crap for you if you're not paying them, are they? That's just common sense. That's life in America, folks. Deal with it. All right? That said, does that mean that all these sites, does that mean the career builder is absolutely useless? Does that mean that you will never find anything on Monster that will do a thing for you? Does that mean if you're an IT guy that Dice.com is no longer the resource and the great aggregator it once was 10 years ago? Yes and no. Here's what is. And it ain't LinkedIn. Ha ha. It's indeed. And I'll tell you why. What, 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 you say, well, wait, Indeed's just another job search site. I mean, what is this crap? You know, what, what, are, you, what are you being paid by him or that? No, Indeed's not giving me a dime. I wish they would, but they're not. And I'm not, you know, what I'm showing you is what seems to be working for me. What I'm showing you is a process that I have changed, my job search process that has changed that is netting me better results and better opportunities than what I was doing before. And what I was doing before was relying an awful lot on this and this and this for my field. Oh yeah, and some of this too. Now, Indeed is an aggregator like these other sites. Employers can post jobs directly like these other sites. The difference with Indeed is Indeed will pull not only from these sites and not, on, and not only raise their own stuff to the top of the heap that people have paid big money to do that. Again, remember, Monster.com and Dice.com are just like uh, you know, any employment agency out there. So they, they kiss the butt of the people who pay them, and you're not paying them. But Indeed is good because, let's face it, we're in the 21st century. Somebody may be telling you, especially if they're older, you know, they come from a previous generation where things worked a little differently. They're telling you, well, you know, if you're having trouble in work, you know, I would be out there knocking on every door. I would be, I would be talking to everybody. I would be working my network and all that. That's great. But if you're anything like me, the reality is you've probably already done some version of that. The whole network thing is BS because chances are people in your network are out of work too. If your network was working, you'd be working. Simple. Simple. The networking thing only works if, some, if everybody's working. If your network is full of people who aren't working, it's not helping you. You need to go where the jobs are. Do whatever you can to do that in your circumstance. But I will tell you, it's going to start and end nine times out of ten on the Internet. Even though everybody says, that's not where you go, that's the worst thing you can do, you're not going to find a job on the Internet, well, I'm telling you, then where are you going to find it? Let me tell you a real quick story about this. Uh, I actually applied for a job over the Internet for Macy's. They had some seasonal help. And Macy's kind of neat, and it's like, well, this is good tide me over cash. I went to the interview. I filled out all the paperwork online, everything they needed. 
Went there and I had my interview, and it was a good experience, and la di da, whatever. But I'll tell you what I saw when I got to the employment office at Macy's, and this is this is the this goes to the knocking on every door thing, just walking up and please hire me. Here's what Macy's does: if you show up in Macy's just looking for work and you haven't responded to a specific ad or anything like that, they're going to sit you down in a little desk, a little booth with a computer on it, and what you're going to do is the exact same thing I did at home. And then they're going to send you home, and if they have a job, they'll call you back. You're not going to talk to anybody. I'll tell you why. This is, this is how corporate America hires now. This is how small business will hire now. Okay? Okay, maybe if you're a regular at the skateboard shop, and you come in there and you see help wanted, maybe you'll get a job. Okay, that's, that's classic Americana. But most of us don't have that opportunity. Most of us don't have the little mom and pops that we're real familiar with who are hiring who could actually ever give us a job we could actually take. Okay? They're go there's going to be an online process because this is the easiest way for HR professionals to screen candidates. Because if you look at the state of employment in America and a lot of other places in the world, the sheer volume would overwhelm any HR department of any size. Okay, All departments and all corporations have been downsized, including HR. Okay, um, Even the biggest ones, to the point where they're not going to be able to field 10,000 applicants standing at their doorstep. And if 10,000 people showed up at any business's doorstep, looking all people looking for jobs, they'd call the riot police out. All right, that's just how it works. They all want you to go through an online process before they talk to you. Because you could fill out all the paperwork, they can do the preliminary background screenings and credit checks and whatever else, whatever other atrocities they want to do to, to crawl up your past they're going to do. Well, they can do that ahead of time and screen at the same time, and that's how it's going to work. Problem is, you think, okay, great, then I'm going to go back to using Career Builder and Monster and Dice because, well, you know, you're talking out your ass. You just, you just, you just basically contradicted yourself, right? No, I did not. Here's what I did do. I showed you a different way to do the same thing, a way that actually shows real results. Now, I picked a city at, ra at random here. I'm a city in Arizona. It's called it Mesa. I don't care. I say, okay, find jobs in Mesa. And this is indeed.com. Now, just like Monster Career Builder, you do that, and okay, okay, there you go. And you see some jobs, and yeah, they're kind of sorted, you know, but, you know, we got this stuff up here that's Somebody obviously paid a little extra money to get it at the top, even though these jobs are older than dirt, some of them, you know, but that's fine. Okay, fine. I, I get you. But here's the thing about Indeed. Indeed will pull jobs not only from monsters and career builders and hot jobs and dice, you know, and, and retailjobs.com. They pull from those sites and they also pull from direct postings places like newspaper postings that are online places like direct postings where employers and you'll actually see more of this than anything else on indeed direct ads from the employers okay not just a bunch of agencies the problem with a lot of the monsters and the dices is the majority of those jobs are agency postings and you know how I feel about agency postings nothing has wasted more of my time than dealing with employment agencies because it's a numbers game okay you get treated like an item in a catalog and if you don't fit what the buyer wants nobody looks at you and they don't care about why okay I personally don't need to waste my time with that kind of thing. If I'm looking for work, I want to be able to put in some search terms, drill it down to how new it is, what the job is, what the area is, and that is so much easier with Indeed. And the sad thing is I know in five years from now, Indeed is going to be just as bad as Monster or Dice. I know it will, because right now it's too good. It's just too good. But let me show you an example here. I Just real simple. Say I wanted to be in this town, okay? Well, let's look at this. Well, look at this. The town of, of Gilbert, Arizona wants a court services clerk. Well, I'll click that ad. Where's that going to take me? Is it going to take me to Robert Half? No, look at this. It took me right to where the job is posted with the city that posted it. 
the actual city of Gilbert, whatever that is. Okay, if I go, for example, let's go to Monster, and hopefully it doesn't make a liar out of me, but let's say, let's say I want to go to Phoenix. Phoenix, Arizona. Let's go on Monster. Let's, let's do a search there. All right? And we'll look. And we got some stuff, some Swift transportation, all kinds of stuff. But if I look at, say, IT jobs, IT, let's put that in there. Okay, look at this. Most of these jobs, information gateways, MODIS, okay, Butler America, other, okay, most of these jobs, Comfity Confidential, at least 60% of these listings are coming from agencies. In fact, I'll go ahead and let's go ahead and open this one up. Let's see, see where it comes from. There you go. They won't even tell you the damn company here. You don't even have the company. You don't even know what the company is. You get a lot of this garbage. Okay, this I wouldn't even apply for because you don't know what you're applying to or who it is. You can't do any research at all. It's a useless posting. In fact, this is a good example of one of those postings that is probably not a real job. All right? This job is probably something where they have an internal candidate they want to hire, but by law, because they have some kind of government contract or some type of requirement, by law, they have to put it out there. Well, the way to put it out there is the same way you publish a legal notice. When you're doing something like you start a new business or a new company or something, and you have to publish something in a public newspaper, well, what most people do is if they really don't want to be too obvious about what they're doing, they'll find the smallest little podunk newspaper they could possibly publish a public notice in and put it there, and that satisfies the requirement. That's exactly what this is. That is exactly what this is. In other words, waste of your time. All right? Fine. So we know that's garbage. But this is a lot, this is a good example of the kind of garbage you get through Monster. Now, if I go in Indeed, you saw, already saw that I'm going straight to Millennial Product Specialist. Now, this is a sponsored ad, which is garbage and is 30 days old. But the fact is, when I go to this job, okay, I already know who the employer is. They're even in this one, and a lot of times you'll find out what they're paying, what they want, where it is. Okay, and you see that this came from somewhere totally different, but indeed had it. And see, that's the nice thing about Indeed. And it's so easy. Say I want to sort. The, the biggest thing you have to remember is sort is everything. Sometimes what you get is absolute garbage. But all that takes is a sort. Say I want to buy date. Say I don't want 30 days mixed in with one hour mixed in with 10 days ago, OK? Well, all you got to do, and without changing anything, you're not going to lose anything. Just click date. Boom. All of a sudden, the newest jobs, the newest ones, are all right up at the top. Which is how a lot of these old services used to work, but they don't always because, like Google, they will play with the results. And you notice that the sponsored jobs, notice where they went? The bottom of the page. All right. Say I want to refine it further. Say I say, okay, I want to be within five miles of Mesa. All right. Fine. Look, I just found jobs within five miles of Mesa. Say I want to make 30 to 30 grand or more. Fine. I just pared it down even more. And you see, that's the thing. That's that. It's the sorting. It's it's the curation. It's that control you have. Use it. And I'll tell you what. Using this kind of thing, this kind of service with Indeed, and just learning kind of the ins and outs of it, is is what has allowed me to go from only ha having six face-to-face -face interviews last year to having six face-to-face -face interviews in the past six weeks with even more phone screens and that beyond that. I have had more contact by learning to drill down in Indeed than I have had by going in through Monster and through job agents and daily updates and stuff like that. I get stuff from ZipRecruiter. I get 15 emails a day from ZipRecruiter with job agent postings. Do you know how many links I get on average to, to, to a new job I get for those 15 postings? On average, 
A day? One. Do you know how many jobs I find on an average every day using what I'm doing here in Indeed? About five. Five people. That doesn't sound like a big number until you realize that I was finding one in a day before and sometimes less than that. This is where online is gone. This is where the jobs are going. And 90% of people out there are going to find their, work, their next job using this process. The other 10%, God love them. I'm glad they have that resource to not have to deal with this. But the rest of us do. And this right now is the best way to do it. Let me show you something else here too. And I'm going to hide some personal info. Let me show you something. This is my personal Indeed page. This is why I say with Indeed, not only use it for a search engine, create an account. Because when you create an account, you get, on, you get this little My Jobs tab. And on here, I'm going to bring it down. You see, you've got you put a resume up there. you got My Jobs, My Searches, Alerts, Preferences, and of course, Account. You go to My Jobs, and what you get is all these neat little applets. Now, it's not very pretty and very sexy. I don't care about pretty or sexy. I care about work, and it works. See, I can go through here. And I could look at all the stuff I've applied for, which is real nice because a lot of times if a job has gotten has been taken down on Monster or Dice, but you applied for it and say they took two months to get back to you, uh, well, if you didn't happen to save the job description, which let's face it, if you're applying for 100 jobs a day, you're not saving every job description, you can actually go back and see that job description. Let me see what the oldest one I have here is. Okay, I got one. There we go. 337 days ago, right? I'm going to look at this. Look, because it's on Deed, I can look at this job posting from a year ago and see what it was. Do you know how incredibly handy that is, especially if you get this call from out of the blue? And you're like, where, who are these, and what is it? And all these people always call you expecting you know who they are and what you applied for, even if a year's gone by. I mean, this is just how it works. I, you know, yeah, I know a lot of you feel my pain out there. But this is just neat. And you can sit there and you could change the status. You know, you can move it to like archive for things that you looked at but maybe didn't apply for but wanted to save. If you're interviewing, like I have some jobs I'm interviewing for, you know, I mean, there. Uh, look, there you go. They're right there. I can. I have the information at my fingertips, and it works on mobile too. That's one of the reasons the site is so simple, is because it's mobile friendly. Okay. So that's the thing, folks. Now, what I'll tell you is this: it's a it's a bad market. It still is. I don't care what Obama says. I don't care what the numbers say. I know it's still rough out there. Employers are still picky as hell, um, especially in my field. And if you're older, you know it's even tougher. I'm trying to give you some tools to help you out here. And all I can tell you is this is from my personal experience. Nobody's paying me to say this. Nobody's, nobody's doing anything for me to do this. I'm trying to do for you. I'm trying to help you out, and I'm trying to give you some, some examples here that work for me that have improved my chances of getting out of the situation I'm in. So take it for what it's worth, but you know what? Good luck to you. Try it out. Spend a little time with it. I think you're going to be a lot happier and a lot better off in the long run. You guys have a great day. I wish you well. I wish you luck, and I wish you success. I'm out.